Now that you suspect PAD, obtain an ankle brachial index, or ABI, to assess the blood flow through arteries. The test involves measuring blood pressure at the ankle and the arm. Then, the ankle pressure is divided by the arm pressure to calculate the ABI. Here, you should measure both a pre- and post-exercise ABI, because sometimes exercise can increase the blood flow to the legs, accentuating a greater difference in blood pressure distal to the arterial lesion. In other words, obtaining the ABI post-exercise can increase the sensitivity of the results. All right, let's look at our possible ABI results. Now, an abnormal ABI of less than 0.9 means that there's an arterial insufficiency. Next, you should determine the severity of their condition by assessing for signs of severe disease, including rest pain, ulcer, necrosis, or even wet or dry gangrene. 